Good day, students. With the recent controversy related to the 4.4 Genshin rewards and the recent videos that have popped up in the last week, I want to talk about what possible rewards could arise from the current situation, as unfortunately, while most of the videos have addressed the fact that the rewards are not satisfactory, they haven't really provided a definitive answer to what will constitute acceptable in terms of rewards. So sit back, open your notebooks, and sharpen your pencils, as today's class is in session. So, for everyone who has been living under a rock for the past week, Genshin's 4.4 livestream was streamed by Hoyoverse, and while presenting the rewards available, they made a blunder when they announced that we would receive three additional pulls as a reward for our support in the past year. While the rewards in themselves were not the catalyst to spark the recent uproar, as the three pulls were the same rewards that were offered in the past Lantern Rite patches, the main issue was the wording that they used during the live stream, which ignited the Chinese community to start to mass unfollow the Genshin social media pages from China. As I have said, while most content creators have agreed that the rewards are indeed not satisfactory, and they agree with the Chinese community that the wording used in the live stream was not Hoyoverse's finest hour, I have not seen a clear suggestion as to what compensation should be provided by Hoyoverse for this blunder. What we need to keep in mind is that, however they decide to adjust the rewards, it is going to impact future Lantern Rite rewards as well. They cannot give, say, five pulls this year, and next year they will go back and announce just three pulls as the rewards. So this move has to be calculated by the company, but it also presents an opportunity for the community to voice what they really want. As if the community settles for a smoke-in-the-face kind of reward, then this entire uproar would have been in vain. So based on this, I would go on to state three scenarios. The first one will be the lowest amount of acceptable rewards, the second one will be the best amount of rewards that are most likely possible, and the last one will be the greatest amount of rewards that they could give. Well, in my honest opinion, the least amount of compensation which should be given is to increase the three pulls announced to ten pulls. This way, the players will receive 20 free pulls via email going forward for each Lantern Rite event, an amount that will be equal to what we are going to receive in Star Rail for the same exact event. Going above the increase to a full 10 pull from the lowest case, I think they should also send another 1,600 promojums in the email as compensation for this entire debacle, just as they did during the anniversary fiasco, in order to bring the total amount to 30 pulls, which for three years of service would be, in my opinion, a perfectly acceptable amount. And having 30 free pulls for every future Lantern Right patch, along with the free skin each year and the four-star selector, would constitute a decent amount of rewards. <laughs> And finally, the best possible scenario. Well, apart from the previous rewards listed, what would be great would be if they would throw in either a five-star standard unit selector, since, as we are slowly approaching the fourth year of Genshin, it would not be an imposition to give the player base the opportunity to secure one copy of a standard character. Now, considering that this might be a long stretch, and I honestly do not seem them doing it, Alternative would be to give a four-star selector, but increase the available units in the selector to all four stars available in the game, not just the units from Liyue. And to go on the tangent with the previous rewards, if they would increase the amount of ten pulls given each year up to a cap of seventy pulls for the last region, that would be an amazing change as well. Also, before the argument is brought up that they cannot afford to do any of these, Remember that they will most likely have four big income titles under their name by the end of the year. They are making over one billion dollars per year from their titles combined. And perhaps the biggest reason why they could do it is because they actually did it in Star Rail when they gave Dr. Ratio for free. 
a limited character that would have cost an unlucky average player around $200 to guarantee. And guess what? They didn't go up in flames by doing it, and they also secured a great deal of good faith and love from the Star Rail community with this decision, which I am willing to bet also resulted in a spike of new players who started to play the game. Therefore, the choice to not also do it in Genshin is entirely a business decision, which honestly, I can totally understand. It's the old expression, if ain't broke, don't fix it, and again, Nothing of this magnitude would have happened if they had chosen their words better in the live stream, or if they simply wouldn't have brought it up at all, since the rewards were the same for every single previous lantern rite since 1.4. But these are my thoughts. What are yours? Would you be fine with the bare minimum scenario? Do you believe they could be persuaded of one of the rewards of the best case scenario? Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, I am Professor Veritas Ratio, and remember, stay smart and sexy.